Hey guys, it's Dave from David Sweat Health and Fitness once again. I want to talk to you about an article I wrote it's been a couple years ago. It was entitled, uh, Holy Cow, The Bionic Gym. And uh, it was a review on this piece of junk uh, that I put underneath the category in our menu, uh, Worthless uh, Fitness Equipment. And uh, anyhow, I, I really hadn't given this... Uh, this piece any kind of a thought you know like I said it's, it's been a couple years ago and we've written so many articles I mean you just you lose track of what you're written about but lo and behold the bionic gym appeared on Facebook the other uh, actually just last night the bionic gym appeared on Facebook and uh, my lovely partner on the website Brenda Sue seen it and she uh, referenced our website on there and they came back and said that, that when I did the review that I said that I had never bought the uh, equipment. That's true, I hadn't bought it. I wouldn't buy it. It's like, damn, there's $700 for a piece of junk that's, you know, just gonna end up in the bottom of your closet floor or, or you're gonna sell a yard sale for pennies on the damn dollar. <laughs> no, I didn't buy it, but that don't mean that I don't know anything about this thing. They make some pretty wild claims on what it's going to do for you, and, and what it is is you have some pieces that have uh, like little electrodes in there, and you, and you strap this thing on around you know different parts of your body, you strap it on you know, like around your, around your midsection, or you can do it on your legs and stuff, and and what it does is it provides electrical stimulation to the muscles and causes them to move. Folks, I'm going to tell you straight up right now. Yes, there is, there is scientific evidence that there's benefit from using these electrostimulators uh, for exercising your muscle. There is a benefit. But that benefit, uh, the bionic gym is telling you, is, is just man, it's so grossly overstated. Uh, if there's one thing that any of my followers have probably picked up by now or should have picked up is I despise these companies out there that prey on people who are desperate to get fit and trim. I don't care. I don't care, you know, if it's weight loss business that's just kind of stringing you along, taking your money. Uh, the supplement industry I find just just despicable with all the stuff that they sell out there. But just 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 a little hair underneath what I think about the supplement companies. There's a, there's a industry out there of people that are just selling just garbage, just junk stuff that you don't need to spend your money on and they're, and they're marketing this stuff towards uh, desperate people. Listen, if you want the Bionic Gym, go out and buy it, you know, you know it's, it's your money. Like I say, you know, there is a little bit of use for this thing. Uh, you know, if, if you've been like uh, laid up in the hospital or something like that and you haven't been able to move your muscles much, uh, you might, you know, maybe if you're paralyzed, you know, maybe like a temporary paralysis or whatever, it'll help you to maintain muscle. But it's not going to get you into a fit and trim body, and that's the problem with their advertisement, is these clowns at the Bionic Gym will lead you on to believe that you can get a fit and trim body with this thing that they're selling. I'm telling you right now, it ain't happening. They'll tell you, it's on their advertisement, you can burn 500 calories from your couch. <laughs> yeah, you can burn 500 calories from your couch doing nothing, but it's going to take you all damn day to do it. You know, you'll burn 500 calories sitting on your couch just because you're uh, basal metabolic rate. Everybody, you know, you burn calories all damn day. But, 
you ain't, you aren't, you're not going to burn 500 calories in a short amount of time on with this thing. You're not going to burn calories in the same sense that you would get from uh, you know doing any kind of cardiovascular exercise. Which, by the way, this thing's not going it's not going to provide you any cardiovascular benefit. Um, so if it's not providing you cardiovascular benefit, you really kind of want to stick stay away from it anyway. But what they do is they're leading. They're leading people on to believe that, you know, you can sit on your couch, you can watch some TV, strap this damn thing on, and you're going to burn 500 calories at a damn time, and it's going to work you towards getting a fit and trim body. You know, it's it's craziness. Um, the price on this two years ago was uh, $649. Listen, there's much better things you can spend $649 on. You can buy yourself a nice exercise bike for your house or a nice bicycle. You can buy yourself a weight set. Uh, you can buy several pairs of uh, walking shoes or running shoes or whatever. There's, there's a whole lot of things you can spend your money on besides worthless fitness equipment and that's exactly what the bionic gym is it's worthless fitness equipment these people they said that uh, that I, I didn't buy one well I didn't have to buy one to be able to tell you that, that, that it's worthless I've had some experience with electrostimulation to the muscles after I had a spinal injury uh, 12 years ago I had another spinal injury back in uh, in November and I may end up getting a, an actual different type of spi spinal stimulator that uh, implanted in my spine at some point just to uh, just to be able to uh, uh, function without pain. There's there's room for electrical stimulation, but this this stuff it's it's not going it's not going to provide you the same benefit as uh, as exercise. Uh, they go on to say the bionic gym impulses mimic shivering. Their impulses mimic shivering. Think about that. It's nature's hack to warm up, and burn calories without doing anything. You got to be a damn fool to believe that. <laughs> I'm not calling you a fool, but you know, fools and their money are easily parted. They tell you. Bionic Gym is a simple, convenient solution to exercise and burn calories without the hassle. Just simply wrap Bionic Gym around your thighs, set your exercise level, and start burning calories immediately. Damn. Um, maybe I'll just exercise wrong. I, I don't know. Uh, man, they're they're just uh, yeah, they're just really uh, counting on people being naive. That's just putting it nice. They go on to say the future of health and fitness. Bionic Gym has all our standard workout programs. It allows you to exercise and burn hundreds of calories while at work. Your desk work or, or watching TV, etc. Very gentle on your joints. It is everything you need for calorie burn and moderate levels of exercise. Man, I got a fan bike right here. I'm gonna tell you, I gotta go at it pretty hard for at least 45 minutes before I burn 45 or before I burn 500 calories. That's pretty hard pedaling. And stuff, you know, it's like uh, I want you to think about something. If you if you could burn 500 calories with this with this thing, the bionic gym, uh, it's going to shock the hell out of your muscles. Okay, it's going to shock your muscles. Now, if you're not used to pain, discomfort, or anything like that, you're going to put this damn thing on one time. And you're going to say, to hell with this. This is stupid. It's shocking the hell out of me. I promise you. If, if, 
you, you're, it's, it's not going to be comfortable. And if you're not one who's accustomed to getting out of their comfort zone with actual exercise, you know, you're not going to get out of your comfort zone for a damn hour with this thing. And you're certainly not going to get out of your comfort zone wearing this thing being shocked for two hours. It ain't going to happen. And I, I'd like to, they, they don't tell you how long it takes to burn 500 calories with this. Uh, man, you know, it's like, you know, some of us may have been born at night, but we weren't born last night. You know, they're, they're taking people for fools as they're taking their money. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of unscrupulous people out there, and these people are pretty unscrupulous. So on their, on this uh, advertisement on Facebook, I responded to them, you know, thought I wouldn't, but, you know, they, they, you know, said that, you know, I hadn't bought the product when I did my review on it. I've tried their product, but I didn't buy it, you know, and lo and behold, they turned around and deleted their comment, their whole thing, their, uh, uh, what do you want to call it? I'm lost for word. Their testimony from somebody about how good this thing is. They pulled all that down. Now, if they believed in their product, they, they wouldn't pull it down. My God, you know. Um, <laughs> I, I just can't believe it. They'll, they tell you, burn calories rapidly at Level is equivalent to intense exercise. Uh, it might burn the same amount of calories in five minutes as you might get in the first five minutes of a good hard run. But, you know, stupid to even think that you're going to get that kind of poor burn out of it, you know. Um, I say, you're not, going to, you're not going to wear this damn thing long enough to, uh, to burn 500 calories. And they, it goes on, uh, increases a person's heart rate to le levels equivalent to intense exercise. But hell yeah, it's shocking the hell out of you. <laughs> yeah, it probably raise your heart rate, but it's not going to be the same is what you're getting from exercise. Enable sustained cardio exercise once you have trained up with it. <laughs> Are you <they> serious? <laughs> Increase the person's VO2 max levels and boost aerobic fitness. The only way this thing is going to increase your VO2 max level is if you're just hollering as loud as you can and then gulping air in, and then hollering as loud as you can. It ain't, you know, you got to move air in and out of your lungs. You got to expand your lungs to increase your VO2. And uh, they said deliver the benefits of exercise in a way that is gentle on the joints. Well, duh. It's gentle on the joints, Ellie. But ain't getting up off up the couch while you're wearing this stinking thing. So yeah, it's gonna be gentle on the joints, but it damn sure isn't gonna increase your aerobic fitness, and it's not gonna increase your VO2 max. They think you're a fool if you believe this stuff. And uh, <laughs> they go on in their advertisement. They say, eh, perhaps what is most revolutionary about Bionic Gym is it requires less willpower. Let me tell you something. If you ain't got the willpower to get a little uncomfortable by actual exercise, you ain't gonna have the willpower to let this thing shock the hell out of you for an hour. <laughs> it ain't happening. Uh, at intense levels, you still get all the body signaling that it is intense exercise, but you can distract yourself by watching TV. Are you ready to buy this piece of shit yet? 
Oh, good Lord. Anyways, they're marketing this thing to desperate people. Yeah, you know, look, if you're an IFBB Pro Bodybuilder, a bikini model, whatever, you know, and you're already down to maybe single digit uh, body fat percentages, I don't know, maybe this thing might help you some. But if you're at that elite level, you know, you know, those people are fine tuning, tweaking things with their bodies that 90% of us never, you know, even think about having to do. So, you know, if you're the average person, you know, you ain't fine tuning and tweaking like that. If you're the average person and got a little bit of pudge on you, uh, you know, uh, you ain't fine tuning anything. You need to lose some weight, but you ain't fine tuning nothing. Uh, they go on here. What I really want to get get to here with this is in their terms of service, and I'll let you go back. You know, this is going to be attached to the uh, to the web <clears throat> to the article on the website. And uh, if you're already there, you're going to read this anyhow. If you're just catching this on YouTube, I'm going to put the link down in the uh, down below. But uh, getting down here, this is from their terms of service. Now, I want you to think about this. If they actually believed in what they're selling to you, okay? They're not, you know, they're not going to have these words written in their terms of service. If they are really confident that the Bionic Gym can do what they say it's going to do. In their in Bionic Gym's terms of service, they state, Accuracy, completeness, and timeliness of information. We are not responsible. Get this. We are not responsible if information made available on this site is not accurate, complete, or current. They're just telling you straight up. Hell, they ain't. They're not responsible if uh, if it's not all, all that they crack it up to be. They're not responsible. How despicable is that? They're going to sell you this thing for $649. They're going to take your hard-earned money. They're going to sell you this piece of garbage on the premise that it's going to help you burn 500 calories and it's going to help you to get fit and trim. It's going to help your, your cardiovascular health. It's going to help your VO2 max. And then they come right along in their terms of service. You can look it up on their website. They are not responsible if the information made available on this site is not accurate, complete, or current. The, the material on this site is provided for general information only and should not be relied upon. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Don't rely on this information. They're going to take 650 of your dollars and tell you not to rely on the information. If these people were legit, they would give you proper information. They'd just be honest with you. They would tell you, yeah, hey, this thing is good for some things, but they're not going to tell you this good for actual exercise. It's for general information only and should not be replied upon or used as the this, this sole basis for making decisions without consulting primary, more accurate, more complete, or more timely sources of information. They want you to do some homework, I guess. It's, it's just kind of to save their butts. They're covering their tail. It's what they're doing. Any reliance on the material on this site is at your own risk. I want you to think about something. You can have a TENS unit. You can put TENS units, you know, like on your lower back, uh, shoulders, stuff like that, down on your legs. 
but you got to be real careful with the TENS unit. It provides electrical stimulation. It's real similar to what this thing does. If you put that thing on your chest over your heart, you may damn well have to have a 911 call made. You know, they're telling you that there's some risk. This site may contain certain historical information. Historical information necessarily is not current and is provided for your reference only. We reserve the right to modify the contents of this site at any time, but we have no obligation to update any information on our site. You agree that it is your responsibility to monitor changes to the site. So, the information they provide you to get you to buy their scam gadget is not necessarily reliable and apparently it is your tough luck if you did not do your due diligence with research for plopping down your hard-earned cash. Never mind their false advertising. Never mind they know this thing is worthless. What they're telling you here in their terms of service is if you didn't do your due diligence and then you felt like you was ripped off. <laughs> hey, we ain't gonna give you your money back. We don't owe you a damn thing. You didn't do your research. Um, I say, per the FDMA, or the, per the FDA, this is an article here, while an EMS device may be able to temporarily strengthen, tone, or firm a muscle, no EMS devices have been cleared at this time for weight loss, girth reduction, or for obtain, obtaining rock hard abs. Electrical muscle stimulators are federally regulated devices most often used in physical therapy. The majority of these stimulators are administered by a healthcare professional to ensure proper use and safety for rehabilitation purposes. You will find where professional athletes have incorporated these things into their physical fitness program. If you're not a professional athlete, if you're not an IFBB pro bodybuilder, it don't apply to you. If you just average Joe out there, or Joe Lean, you know, whatever the case may be, <laughs> you, know, you know, if you're just an average person, you do need to lose a little bit of weight, you need to uh, just tone up or whatever, you know, this ain't for you. You need to really save your money. Uh, website Testosterone Nation. It's a it's a it's a weightlifting site. This is their take on it. Most users never come near the level of contraction they need for best results, especially in clinical settings. To understand the intensity the athlete needs to experience, have him contract the quads as hard as he possibly can voluntarily, and then have him imagine a goal thirty percent higher than that. The contraction is massive and it feels that way. Don't worry uh, about burning the muscle, though, as it only takes five millionths of an amp to maximally contract the quad. To give you an example of what I mean by cranking it up, my athletes would often have to bite down on a piece of leather or stick while being stemmed, stimulated. Is it really that painful? Well, it should feel like riding up a very steep and long hill on a bike. That's the type of burn you should feel. Look, if you ain't an athlete, you're not used to getting out of your comfort zone, you ain't going to be able to take this thing. And then even if you could take it, the, the results are just going to be very minimal for the average person out there. Uh, I'm going to close this off here. Read the article. And uh, I'll have the link down below for you. And uh, hey, if you like what you're seeing here, you know, give us a like and a subscribe. And uh, if you like what you see on our website, it's free. Subscriptions, uh, the, the subscriptions are free and easy. Every time we uh, post a new article, which is pretty uh, regular, you get it straight to your email. I'll never charge you anything ever uh, for doing this. Never have charged, never going to charge. So, um, you know, see what you think. You know, check it out. 
you know, make your make up your own mind. But you know, for me, this is a total waste of money. It's a scam. These people that are marketing it know that it is a scam and that it's worthless. The packaging it comes, this Bionic Gym comes in, is probably worth more than the actual Bionic Gym. So with that being said, I'm out of here. God bless.